There you have it, guys. A tour out with an aspiring, new, up-and-coming property developer. And he got to see HMO, a really nice three-bedroom, four-bedroom semi-detached house, a beautiful, luxury detached house, a self-contained unit, six of them in a beautiful building, and he got to see the good, the bad, and the downright ugly, which is what we've just seen. Hey, how are you doing? I'm always good. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, good. Um, just in time, just ready. Oh, thank you. Have you done anything on yours yet? Thank you. Locking in the builders, hopefully today. Now we're going to meet them and then get the, well, they get the price agreed first. I'll yeah. meet them, talk about it, maybe get down a bit more and then lock it in. But it's, it's mad still, to be fair, the process has been. It's like, I was, I was trying to cut corners a few things, but I'm deciding to change all like the woodwork and stuff and get it all fresh and new. You can't cut corners now. Yeah, I'm not going to cook. I'm not going to, but I thought cost trying saving. To. Yeah. Do, 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 do. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, but what's the purchase price? 144. What's the end value? Looking around 250, but I reckon I can get more in this market, I reckon. Really? If I do a good finish. So how did you get it for 144? Because Bob Jay negotiated, didn't he? Because yeah. um, there was some issues and he just got the... What was the original standard? price? 148, I think it was, yeah. That's like what that. they wanted? That's what they wanted, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it listed for? No, it might be more, no, I don't know. Is I don't think for, it don't was listed know. for I 150. Like I think it was like 190. Yeah, 190 something. Yeah, I'm sure it was 190. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we got, because I, I, Jay phoned me up and he was like, do you know you? Yeah. I was like, yes. And he was like, I've got a deal. Um, I'm sure he said 190. Um, and he's like, that, I think it's around that, that price. Yeah. Fair. He's yeah, like, yeah. I can get it down to one one forty five, and I was like, how? And he was like, I've got some there's some problems with it and stuff. I said, what's the refurb on it? He said, if he does it properly and wants it done to a top spec, he can he can spend what you spend seventies. Yeah. He said, but if he wants to cut corners, forty fifty. I was like, okay. I said, what's the end value? He said, conservatively a quarter of a mil. Yeah. He says, but realistically, we could get that up to. 260, 265. That's what I'm thinking as well. But that's why I need to get the curb appeal and make it the right. The has to look bollocks. I know, but I was going to go with the grey. I'm just like windows and I talked to some people and they said, what's the convert conservatory? It's white. Yeah. It's going to go all white with all the well, windows. Well, you've got no choice. Because well, if, you, if you're not going to change all the windows in the whole property and you're yeah, changing true. four, you've got to stick it to white. Yeah. Um, but you do know that that is going to lessen the value. White will. Because you're trying to make it on the street stand out with the curb appeal. A lot of movement here, isn't it? Yes, mate. Yeah. You'll be shocked when you go upstairs as well. It's like 90% boarded. Yeah. Okay, that needs to be grey. I spoke to the builder about it, trying to tame the vision and see what if you can Where'd do. Where'd you get it. the builder from? Well, I found him on Instagram, spoke to some people, said he was said he decent, they showed me some of his work, yeah. stuff like that. The people you spoke to, their previous customers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like projects as well. Okay, let's have a look at what else you got. Guys, have a look at this. Look at that. So show the whole conservatory. Imagine all that grey. With, with lights. Yeah, it's pretty Imagine that with lights. Yeah, it would look nice. That'd look unreal. Okay. Semi detached. Yeah. Okay. Is that yours as well? Yeah, so we're going to make that nice, repaint it, replace the plastic at the top. Because I was going to get rid of that, but people are saying people might want a carport to. Yeah, to I'd, I'd leave the carport. Yeah. I, if this was my house right now. Yeah, tell me what you would do. Are you doing anything with the garage? Roll the shutter, I want to get it. Okay, like well, the I'm one that's get. in one of mine. Have you been yeah, to my no, one with the electric one? Nice, okay, yeah, no. so you want an electric one? I just see it on a lot of houses I see nowadays. That's the look yeah. everyone's okay. going for. It. You're not turning it into a room? No, I was going to board it out, paint it, probably paint the floor white, Yeah. and then, yeah, keep it as a Okay, paint. so get, you want a grey roller shutter. Have you got a picture of... Um, Why is that here? Yeah. Winton. Yeah, okay. Um, you want to turn that into glass? So you want it all glass, if you are keeping it. Like, you're going to make it new. So you're saying, okay. You're not knocking it down and making it flush. I was going to board out the sides and yeah. then just do the front with yeah. the composite door and the mirrors either side. Okay, so composite door and two glassy pieces either side. This, you want the grey boards or the wooden, wooden. depending on which way okay, you're going, yeah, okay? Yeah. Um, this needs to be grey. Those need to be grey. Yeah. So if you want features... And the sides as well. Yeah, if you want features, that, 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 and that. Use that wood stuff that you've just shown me. Okay. You can make that look sensational. And for, 
final finish of the gut garden, that's got to, is, is that amount to the final price, you reckon? Definitely. You need to open up the patio doors. Yeah. You need to have a patio yeah. where people can sit, nice grass, yeah. clean fence panels. Doesn't need to be new, as long as they're sprayed okay. and they look fresh. Yeah. If you're trying to sell a quarter of a million pound house, it has to reflect a quarter of a million pounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear. Quarter of a million pounds, middle class. Yeah. <laughs> now, you know what? I've had the vision from the start, but then obviously during the journey of getting the quotes and talking to people, this and that, I'm, I'm getting swayed in different directions sort of thing. But, but now, nah, I follow what you're saying. You're the boss. No, no, your no, 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 no. It's your thing. It was just that people are said about the conservatory. I'm thinking, maybe true. But then I'm looking on the street when I look at it. Those two houses with the grey windows are the ones that I look at as the best on the streets, standardly. So it's a no-brainer, isn't it? It's so. a no-brainer. Yeah. It's 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 common sense. Um, How did they fix that? Just so the plumber actually come in, put a brand new connection on. Okay. With the lead pipe. Um, steel's ordered. So as soon as it's on site, someone will be here to knock it out, to put the steel straight in. Saves having acros. Anything else? Have we got any movements on the back of the door and stuff? What he's doing? Not yet. No. We are going to move the door over and block off that wall yep. so that the next door neighbour can still have her off of the coal shed and access it without coming near our property. Okay. My question to you, Dan, yep. I just want to know yep. is, you know that this is the external wall here? Yes. Well, that's that's all damp. Yeah. What's uh, he doing to make sure that it's not going to come through to the new kitchen? Um, I know that was there because there was supposed to be an extractor up there. Yeah. And when we took the extractor off the wall, they never vented it outside. So okay. he was actually doing nothing. So he knows a vent's got to be put in. He, yeah. Well, that's and he knows that that's got to be sorted. Yes. Because we've got, yeah. I don't want him just to board yeah, over. Nothing's going to be covered up. Okay. Yeah. I know he knows, yeah. but again, I just want to put it out there. And he's quoted for that in our quote. Yes. We're all good. We're so there's no hidden, hidden prices. No, we're all good. We've had the adjusted quotes. And okay. Yeah, because it's next door neighbour's wall. Yeah. Um, Insulation's really down to us, really. Um, so say. Everything in between, everything here has to be thermal because it's external. Yeah. But because that's attached to next door. We're literally, we're following the working drawings to a T. Everything that they've requested. Okay. So we got the decision. That one needs to be. That one needs to be because it's external. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's got social housing, is it? I've got quite a few options. Yeah, yeah. I've got social housing and NHS. Skip was due today. I know because I saw it in the group chat. But the um, council have refused the permit and said you're not going to get one for this road to drop a skip here. So we're trying to arrange um, a grab to see if the grab claw can get in between the it's garden. Not going to. Which they've measured it. Technically, it can, but it depends on the driver. No, you're knocking that. You do that, mate. That wall's coming. Well, down. this is my worry at the moment. The way it is, um, I've told them not, they're not putting no more bricks out the front, because if that wall collapses and all them bricks fall down and somebody walks past, you're gonna end up breaking somebody's ankle. You're not putting a downstairs toilet in the house. No, no, no. You've not got room. Well, I showed the floor plan, but people said to me again that it was too much work to be getting digging out the out the floors, finding the okay. manholes. So you're spending like a quarter of a million kids. You got a baby, haven't you? Yeah. You got a missus. Yeah. You have people around your house for dinner. Yeah. Do you want them upstairs on your toilet in your quarter of a million pound house? <laughs> no, I don't. So you know when people come to buy your quarter of a million pound dream home? Yeah. And they've got all grey, and they've got the conservatory, and they've got the garden, and they're thinking about having barbecues. What's the one question they're going to ask? That's the toilet. Pff, I ain't letting people traipse upstairs and use my toilet. So if I show you now then, but this was my original plan a while ago. Yeah. Utility, WC, knocking out walls. So your kitchen will be all right. Um, you want you want kitchen cupboards on this side and you want kitchen yeah, cupboards on gonna, that side. Yeah, I was going to add the oven with the larders on that yeah, side. Yeah, you want all that? Yeah. Um, I'll show you some of that when we go to the houses in yeah. a minute. Um, but yeah, that kitchen's beautiful. You'll make that yeah. look really nice, so you're good there. You want to put all this side in thingy. But yeah. mate, you need a downstairs toilet. Yeah, okay. You've got to have a downstairs toilet in a quarter of a million pound house. So would you put it in that cupboard then? If you can get a downstairs toilet in there and it works, then 100%. That's there. Yeah, they're just going to need to run it through the garage and into the drainage and outside. It's not a fucking big job. Isn't it? No, it's just a soil pipe. So what, 500, 300 quid? Okay. It's not a big pot, it's not a thingy. You've got to have a downstairs yeah. toilet in a quarter of a million pound house. Yeah. Let's go to the next one so I can show him how it works. You're the developer right now because you bought a house and you're trying to make as much money on the flip as possible. Yes. Okay. So how do we make that happen? Um, 
it's a mix between a black and a very dark grey, but it's sat, it looks nice. Nice. So when we get it there, and I'm trying to get in where the larger unit is either side, so I know you like it symmetrical. Comment below, guys, if you think Dan's going to done a good job with picking that kitchen. If you have space to ever make a utility in your future projects, do it. Do it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, so important. I think about myself and while I was living in it, I need the space. You need yeah. all that sort of stuff. So. Home is the most important part of a home. Yeah. It's a kitchen. So it's if you, it's, yeah. it's the core, it's where everybody stands, it's where everybody sits, it's where you eat, it's where you cook, it's where you drink, everything. So if you can get some kind of yeah. thing like that. The lounge isn't massive in houses anymore, you know? Yeah. Do you watch Sally? Not really, no. There you go. Too busy. Pretty nice, yeah. End user might not want to be overwhelmed. It's a bungalow. Yeah. Okay. That's the key. Um, if it was a house, yeah. Then you're gonna end up with 35 year olds buying it, but you might end up with a 50. You know, just downsizing a little bit because the kids yeah. have moved out. Then I said to Dan about the switches. You yeah. got brush chrome, definitely. Yeah. So you know the high chrome. Yeah. It looks a bit tacky now. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the matte black is quite cool. Yeah. Matte black. We haven't been to for a while. Not and when you see it. <sighs> Steve rang me a few weeks ago. Oh. So Steve, your floor's dropped in one of the flats. I, I was like, alright, sound. And then the other day I was just like, I was driving past this house and said, I'll pick the keys up, went in. Mm -hmm. Floor's dropped. Mm -hmm. Never in a million years would I have thought it was what it was. Um, truthfully. Like, truthfully, but as us. It was done on purpose. Guaranteed facts. I sent it to Nick as soon as you posted the pictures. Yeah. I said there's no way they forgot it from that. Yeah, he's done that on purpose. Yeah, left it. 11 months. And, and do you know what? Do you know some of that work I'm seeing there relates to a lot of the work? It looks like similar work you've had done in Blackpool. Yeah. Same people. That's the problem, you know, when you ain't got everyone in your boat rowing. Yeah. And there's people drilling holes. You never know. It's spiteful. Yeah. Spiteful. Jealousy, it's not yeah. spiteful, it's just jealousy. Because people see like, oh, Steve bought this house and he's gonna make 150 grand profit. No, no. Let's fuck it up. It's not Steve's gonna make 150 grand profit, it's that money goes back into the business to keep the wheels turning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like I'm just going to go and do something, but jealous people don't understand how this world works and what they've done in that property down there. Mate, mate, I don't understand that for the love of the money. Did it creep into there then? Oh no. Did it creep into that floor? Uh, no. No. Oh. Not as far as we know. So there you have it, guys. A tour out, a self contained unit, six of them in a beautiful building, and you got to see the good, the bad, and the downright ugly, which is what we've just seen. Now that's going to cost me anywhere between three to six thousand pounds because we don't know how far it's spread into the other flat as well, which is here. Um, was it done on purpose? Was the pipe not connected on purpose? I guess we're never, ever, ever going to find out. <laughs>